Okay, so I haven't seen anyone make a video yet for the orange box fab fold down rear table for a GX470. So I thought I'd just go ahead and make my own. First of all, you start off by taking the uh, door panel off. Okay, so according to the instructions, pull the door panel off. We're gonna put the top two nuts in for the top bolts. Go in with the factory handle set. It's uh, probably a good suggestion to have a uh, buddy help you uh, hold this while you're trying to bolt it onto the hatch. Uh, I pulled the door panel off to put the nuts in for these two main bolts here. And I put the door panel back on and have it hanging on the rear door just by those two bolts so that I can line up and pre-drill all the rest of the holes for all the other bolts in the door panel. So now I'll drop the table down. Get access to all those holes, pre-drill those in the door panel, and then take everything back off and then bolt it up to the door panel. All right, so I have all my holes pre-drilled. Now the door panel comes back off. Okay, so now I got the door panel back off. I'm about to uh, put the fold down table on the door panel. So the skinny ones, according to the instructions, are gonna go in the top corners. And these thicker spacers go on the bottom. So nylon nut, washer, goes inside the door panel, spacer, small washer, Allen head, bolt goes on the outside of the door panel. So the instructions say to drill 3 16th holes when you have the fold down shelf on your door panel. And then later it says quarter inch drill bit, make the holes bigger. I believe the reason why they don't want you to go ahead and do the, right, the correct size is they're afraid you're gonna scratch the uh, powder coating on the fold down shelf. So now I'll increase the diameter of the holes to a quarter inch. Okay, so one of these bolt holes in the hatch is right next to a uh, one of the ribs in the trim for strength. I'm just gonna use my pocket knife to uh, notch that out so the washer will, uh, will fit flat with the panel. There we go, there's the notch. So after notching that rib off, I went ahead and bolted the table to my door panel and used the nuts and washers on the backside and then reinstalled the door panel. The kit actually comes with two extra screws. So if you're not putting your tool kit back in, you can put screws in this panel to help keep everything tight. Um, what I'm gonna do is, since the tool kit has this little void on the back, I'm gonna add two screws here to tighten up the strength of putting the door panel to the door. I did look before I put the door panel back on. There is good metal right there to screw into. It's perfect. So my fold down table came shipped with the locking bolts loose. I'm sure it's by design. So once you get the flex figured out, you can make it matter in your car. Then you see where it locks in. Then you tighten those down. All right, so now this thing is tightened up and looking good. You know, we are Lexus owners and we like our luxury. So now I'll make a hot cup of coffee on my new table. So this little K-cup coffee maker only pulls 800 watts. So it's easy for me to run off my 1200 watt power inverter that I have installed in my truck. So just pretty cool. And I found one fitment issue when I put this back on. My table is actually offset a touch towards the driver's side of my vehicle. Just barely, but still it's offset a touch. Because I was worried about, you know, this gap. How tight will that be? But what ended up happening is this bolt on the bottom... When I close the door, let me unlock it. All right, so when I close the door, that bolt is actually touching 
my interior trim here. Now it's just barely touching. It's not the end of the world, but still, it's touching. And also, um, the ropes that hold my table together were flipped where the, if you can see it, the little bolt head there was on the outside. So it was also touching when I would close the gate. But I'll flip those around, so that's no big, no big deal. So now it's just that bottom head that touches, and I really don't know a way around that. But it still opens and closes. It just drags just a touch. So, just a small annoyance. 